Welcome back to the FLB Club. I'm still messing around with this refrigerator. And I just wanted to show you uh, how we got this thing wired up. Um, here's a quick glimpse of the top. And here's a quick glimpse of the bottom by this compressor. So let's start from the power. We actually have it plugged in and it's working. So it's plugged in back there. This is an appliance extension cord that we bought. We just cut off one end to use the the cord as this new cord to replace this refrigerator's power cord. So here's what we have. This is the extension cord. So it has full power, solid power coming in. We split it and this is the live power. So this is our hot and you can see we've got this, uh, this is a 14.3 uh, wire, so it's 14 gauge wire and it's got a black, white, and red. Uh, so what we're doing is we're sending the power through the uh, solid black wire in this 14.3. And this goes all the way to the top. So we have a solid power on this black wire right here. So this is solid power, and what we're doing is there's two switches on this refrigerator. One is the thermostat, and one is for the door. So we're basically just splitting it here. Um, we just splice this in, and we're sending solid power down here to the, the thermostat, and on this little wire here that goes to the door switch. So basically, what the power coming out of this one is going to be switched based on the mechanical door switch. And the one coming out of this one is going to be switched from the thermostat. So we can see the door switch works here. Here's the door switch. And when I click it, you can see the light goes off. So switched power to the light bulb is working. And then you can see here we've got the neutral tied in to the neutral from the light. Uh, so our neutral uh, wire basically just completes the circuit. We bypass the switch on this neutral but it does uh, end at the receptacles. So the red wire goes back down this same sheath and that's switched power from the thermostat. And so we have down here, uh, the red wire is switched from the thermostat and it comes into here to power. I'm not sure what this little box is, but the power is being pushed through here uh, before it goes to the compressor. Um, we just left it there um, and it just has a uh, neutral and power for that little box and that ends up powering the compressor. Um, so basically that's how it works. We uh, have switched power going to the compressor from the thermostat, switched power going to the light bulb from the uh, door switch, and of course here's our ground and we have it tied into the green wire uh, from the appliance cable and then it comes into here and we actually grounded it uh, up here on a bolt right here which is just something that's uh, tied into this is the the Freon tank um, so uh, yeah so we just grounded it up here because uh, it's a big solid metal chassis and we made sure that it was uh, bare metal it was grounding against not this paint um, but the thing seems to work. We have our thermostat. I don't know if you can hear this thing, but when we turn it all the way down, it just turned off. And when I turn it on, compressor starts up, which you may or may not be able to hear. So that's pretty much it. That's our electrical uh, wiring for this for this cool vintage fridge. It seems to be functioning. I'm going to uh, do some tests on it, make sure it's not freezing uh, inside and see if I can find the right spot on this uh, dial. And uh, obviously we need to uh, put it all back together, but that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, thanks to Meeker Extreme for the help. Hi. Okay, thanks for coming over to help.